Hey, what's up? Good morning. Hope everybody having a good, blessed day. I'm having a blessed day all day, every day. Doing what I do, how I do, and when I do it, and how I do it. Stay on that grind all the time. I'm a grind time addict. That's the name of my business, the name of my company. Um, we stay on the grind 24 hours a day, seven days a week, working, hustling, sliding and providing, um, just, you know, making a way, making a future for yourself. You know, that's what Grind Time Addicts is about. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I don't do nothing street illegal. You know what I'm saying? Or nothing that's going to put me in jail. My business is 100% legit. But what I want to talk about is um, jealousy. Um, jealousy is like, it's like a drug, man. It's like it's resentment. You know, when you, when you, res when you resent something of what somebody else is doing or what they have, that all falls into jealousy. You know, um, a lot of men get into relationships with females and they're, they're so triggered to get jealous so easy about what she wear or how she look or the attention that she's getting on social media or any of that shit and whatnot. But I'm going to tell you like this. Jealousy is going to land your ass in two places. In a pine box or in the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? You, as a man, cannot sit up there and be jealous of the things that your woman do. You know what I'm saying? If she is beautiful, she looks good, she gets a lot of attention on social media or anything like that, you can't let none of that stuff bother you. You know what I'm saying? Because before she was hollering at you, you seen the same qualities in her that two, three, four, five hundred other men see in her. You know what I'm saying? So in reality, the faster you get her, the faster you can lose her too. You know what I'm saying? So it's like once you get her, you still got to let that woman be her. You can't try to control that woman and tell that woman, oh, I don't want you dressing like this. I don't want you talking to this dude. I don't want you liking this dude's pictures or I don't want them dudes commenting on your page. You can't do none of that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because in reality, your jealousy is going to make her uncomfortable. So if your jealousy is going to make her uncomfortable, you're going to lose that woman. You know what I'm saying? Then it's going to turn into other things to where it's going to escalate into verbal abuse and sometimes even violence. And if it goes to the highest extreme, it can go to death. You know what I'm saying? I've seen dudes kill women over jealousy. I've seen women, I mean, excuse me, men beat women over jealousy. I've seen men verbally abuse women over jealousy. Look, fellas, <clears throat> you can't do that. You got to let your woman be who she is. So you got to sit back and you got to learn your woman. You know what I'm saying? If she one of them attention-seeking women, then that's what she going to be. Now, if you're not strong enough as a man to deal with that, then you need to go be with somebody else that's not like that. If just because a woman is beautiful doesn't mean that she fits into your personality. You know what I'm saying? If, if if both of you guys are attractive specimens on this planet and she's getting more attention than you, than you, and then you're getting jealous and it's making you mad and it's making you angry, then you taking away all the happiness that you built in your life. You know what I'm saying? So let that shit go. You know what I'm saying? Let it go. You know, be honored that other men find your woman attractive. Be honored that there's other dudes out there that want to fuck your woman. You cannot control what a woman does. 
She gonna do what she wanna do, when she wanna do it, how she wanna do it. There's so many things with technology, man, they can sneak and do all kind of sneaky shit. You know what I'm saying? Loyalty don't exist only into the eyes of the beholder. So what you see is what she wants you to see. What you don't see, hey, that's a whole different ball game. You know what I'm saying? And everybody had these trust issues. If you trust somebody, you trust somebody. If you don't, you don't. That's just life. You only got one life to live. That's your life. You know what I'm saying? Live your life the way that you want to live your life. Don't let jealousy and resentment take away the things that you're trying to do with your life. You know what I'm saying? If it's not meant to be, then it's just not meant to be. Let it go. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Leave it alone. You cannot be jealous over a woman. A woman should not be able to make you jealous. You know what I'm saying? Because if you are jealous behind the things that your woman is doing, you are weak. You are super weak. You know what I'm saying? You so weak to where the fact is she can do something stupid or something small and you want to get mad at her about it and you want to have something to say about it. You cannot control a woman. You know what I'm saying? That's not what you in a relationship for. If y'all in a relationship, a relationship is based on partnership. You know what I'm saying? Partnership. 50-50 partnership that's putting it 100% into that relationship. If it's 60-40, 70-30, whatever. You know what I'm saying? If it's not, if it's not equal, and then it's just y'all just hanging on to a relationship that's not feasible or successful, then, you know, you're wasting your time. You got to get the fuck on or she going to get the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to look at it like this, man. In reality, a woman going to be who she want to be with. If she don't want to be with you no more and she decides to break up with you and the relationship is over, let that shit go. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know you spend time, effort, and money, and you invest into the relationship, and the relationship ended, and now you mad, you angry, because now, you know, you see her talking to somebody else, or she entertaining other men, so now you feel like you've been played, like you feel like you've been had, so now you feel like you want to detriment her character and say bad shit about her talk bad about her put out bad shit about her on social media make her look bad make her look like a bitch make her look like a hoe make her look like a skeeza make her look like she ain't no good and she ain't about shit but you wasn't saying none of that shit when you was in love with her you know what i'm saying you gotta let that go man every relationship that you've been through that ain't nothing but a learning experience. You learn, you grow, you move on. It's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? It's going to happen. You know, If you're putting all your feelings and emotions into a relationship and that relationship don't work out and you hurt and you jealous, man, you ain't doing nothing but hurting yourself in the long run. You know what I'm saying? If you know that you're you're a good looking guy you're a successful man and you know that you have the capability of getting any woman of your choice then you move on and you do that you know what i'm saying you gotta you gotta put your feelings to the side when you're dealing with another human being you gotta really put your feelings to the side let that shit go you know what I'm saying? You should go through a down period of at least one day, brush that shit off, and keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? Even if y'all break up and she putting bad shit out there about you, don't let that shit bother you. You got to shake that shit. You know what I'm saying? You, as a man, got to be the bigger person than her. You know what I'm saying? You can't see what she's doing, and then you want to sit up there and you want to put fuel in the fire and keep the fire going, and then it turns into a bunch of negativity bullshit. So when you put in a bunch of negative energy in something that, first of all, you're not getting paid for doing it. Second of all, you're not 
you're not being successful at doing it. So why are you doing it? And third of all, you wasting precious time in your life. Sit up here arguing, going back and forth with this woman because you mad and you jealous because she moved on. You know what I'm saying? Hey, sometimes you got to really understand this. If you're not doing the things that you're supposed to do, a woman is definitely going to level up because it's always men lined up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good motherfuckers that's lined up ready to take your place. If your place get taken, then so what? You know what I'm saying? A relationship is just like a job, homie. You know what I'm saying? If you're not doing a good job at your job, they're going to find somebody else in your job to replace you. Once they replace you, that's it. What you going to do? Come back and shoot up everybody? You going to kill your boss like a lot of these crazy people do, and then you're going to end up doing life in the penitentiary or even getting a death penalty? You free. You're free. You don't have to ever be jealous of another person. Why be jealous of another person? Love you. You know what I'm saying? As a man, love yourself. You got to love yourself. You ain't got to put all your love and energy and attention in another person or in a woman. If it's, if you're not putting that same love and attention into your, your family or your children or anything like that, then you just basically wasting your time out here in this world. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm 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 to give you a real true story. You know what I'm saying? It was a, it was a guy that I worked with uh, many years ago. And um, he, had, he, had, he had a wife and they had kids. You know what I'm saying? Cool little family atmosphere and all of that other stuff. So something happened in a relationship which I'm not going to disclose and they ended up separating so she ended up seeing somebody else he ended up being the dude sitting up there waiting like a simp waiting to see and begging and all that stuff to see if they're going to get back together but she had already made her mind up that you know what I'm saying? This relationship is over. I'm ready to move on. I want to be with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So somebody else sparked her interest. She started dealing with somebody else. So he started getting mad. So, you know, when the time came for him to come pick up the kids, he would come pick up the kids and he would see her with him and he would instantly get angry. He would get jealous. He would get mad because... You know what I'm saying? He 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 was putting a smile on her face and he was making her happy. So fast forward, they ended up getting divorced. They ended up getting, you know, they little joint custody of the kids and everything and like that. But deep inside, he was still jealous. He was still angry. He used to sit up there and tell me the things that how hurt he was and how he was feeling and, you know, as a man, I was telling him, like, nah, man, you got to move on with your life. You got to let that go. You know what I'm saying? You doing a good thing. You got a good job. You raising your kids. You helping raise your kids. You you know, you got your own place, your own car. You know, go out and date and start meeting other women. But he was so obsessed with this woman that he was with that he just couldn't let it go. You know what I mean? So then it got to the point where... You know, things started turning physical to where the new man and him started having conflict. So when they started having conflict, then it started um, turning physical. You know what I'm saying? So they got out there. They got down in the front yard. They got they they got they squabble on. You know what I'm saying? He beat the dude up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he told me about it. And I asked him, I said, well, what, did, what satisfaction did you get out of that? You know what I'm saying? He said I had the I got the satisfaction of all the hurt and the pain of, of beating his ass because he took my woman. You know what I'm saying? I said, my bro, she wanted to be in that situation. He didn't take nothing from you. You know what I'm saying? She chose him, so she allowed him to do the things to her that she wanted to do, and she didn't want to do those things with you no more. You know what I'm saying? So, and like I told him, all in all. What you did was stupid. It was childish. It was very immature. 
And second of all, bro, your kids was exposed to you out there acting an ass. You know what I'm saying? So now you violated the court order and you know, you, you, you basically committed a crime. You know what I'm saying? And where people, everybody's seen it and his witnesses and all of that. But he didn't go to jail that day. Luckily, he didn't go to jail that day. Nobody called the police on his dumb ass. So, he was still more, ang he was still angry. So, conflict, 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 after conflict, after conflict, after conflict. Him and this dude ended up having like three, four, five different fights. You know what I'm saying? So, it had got to the point where the new guy, he decided, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm a citizen. I'm going to arm myself. So, the dude armed himself with a pistol. So, by this time, my co-worker, you know what I'm saying? He didn't ended up uh, losing, losing. He got fired from work. You know what I'm saying? And he ended up, you know spiraling out of control you know what i'm saying so apparently he ended up getting intoxicated drunk faded he ended up going to the house banging on the door acting a fool you know what i'm saying <coughs> talking about <coughs> he won his family back and all this other shit so like the man that the new guy was supposed to be that's his family now also because he the one staying in the house which was his house at the time he comes out he brandishes his firearm so my co-worker he like oh okay you want to do all of that you know what i'm saying bring your punk ass out here and fight me like a man so Oh boy, you know what I'm saying? He put the pistol down. He went out there in the front yard again and they started fighting. So when they started fighting, my coworker pulled out a shank. He started shanking the dude like 20, 30 times. You know what I'm saying? Cops was called. Oh boy lived. Thank God he lived. But my coworker, hmm. He ended up going to jail for attempted murder. He got 15 years, 15 years of his life. You know what I'm saying? Then the ex-wife, the boyfriend and his kids, she ended up selling the house. They ended up moving somewhere else. Now he, he you know, 15 years later, once he get out, his kids is gonna be grown. They're going to be grown, probably in college, on their own, probably having kids of their own, everything. So he, he missed out on all of that because he let his jealousy and his anger and his emotions get the best of him. You know what I'm saying? He ain't going to get to see his kids graduate from school. He can't have no contact with his kids. He can't call to the house and you know see his kids or nothing the only way he can communicate through his kids is through his loved ones he can't communicate through his kids through her loved ones all because of jealousy all because of the resentment that that man had you know what i'm saying that's why i tell you fellas keep your emotions in check keep your emotions in in check you will end up like this dude or it could have went the other way around to where if he was drunk and he banged on the door and he knocked the door in and oh boy had a right to carry a firearm and he pulled out a pistol and laid him down in the living room then he would have been going to the morgue. Then the kids would have been traumatized that their father got killed. And then they probably would have had resentment towards the boyfriend. And then they probably would have had resentment towards their mother. You see where I'm going with this? Jealousy. All because of jealousy. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about relationship jealousy. 
or 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 dealing from a man dealing with a woman type of jealousy. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not you know, I'm not talking about the jealousy of another man jealous of another man because he got a nice car and people attracted to him. I mean, it all falls in the same category, but I'm just basically talking about this type of thing. So, fellas, I'm I'm getting ready to close this video down because I got to get up and go handle my business. Um Look, fellas, you got one life to live. When you gone, you're not coming back. People going to keep living their lives the way that they've been living their lives, whether you're dead or in jail or depressed or whatever emotional nonsense you're going through. People still got to move on and they still got to live their life. You have a chance to reconcile your feelings within yourself. Reconcile your feelings within yourself. When I say reconcile the feelings within yourself, that means I'm telling you as a man to man, you got to do some soul searching within yourself to understand who you are and what makes you click as a person. Just because you didn't make one person happy, don't mean you, you know, you can't make another person happy. But learn from your mistakes so you can have a broad overview of the type of woman that you want to deal with. At the end of the day, no matter what woman you deal with, she is always going to get attention from men. So I'm telling you, from man to man, that's going to happen. It's going to continue to happen no matter what relationship you in. Dude, you got to embrace that shit. Embrace it. You know what I'm saying? Embrace it. Embrace it, deal with it, handle it, and be a man. I'm out. Peace.